Listen, I think it's been pretty apparent that I've had my moments of pretty harsh criticisms on this game this year so far. And I mean, I'd say for rightful reasons, whether you think I go too far, not far enough, or somewhere in between is the nature of subjective interest in games. But honestly, despite Season 2 Reloaded not offering a ton of content in terms of maps or anything like that, there's one thing in particular that stands out to me the most that I feel like I do actually have to tip my hat to Infinity Ward on. Today, we're taking a look at what I think is finally something that's pretty awesome within Modern Warfare 2. So as we go along, feel free to drop your thoughts below. Agree? Disagree? Whatever the case, feel free to let me know your thoughts on what was introduced with this mid-season update. As well, if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. And finally, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market and a year best 25% off discount right now with code ESPRESSO. We don't see that too often, so if you guys are interested, links in the description below. But more on them in a bit. For now, let's talk about what I actually think is pretty cool with what Season 2 Reloaded did. So to start with Season 2, we saw the introduction of the Path of the Ronin events. And at the beginning of the season, it seemed like the Path of the Ronin challenges would be consistent with what we've seen plenty of times across any number of seasons, dating all the way back to like the games of summer in Season 4 or 5 of Modern Warfare 2019, where it was a seasonal event that would offer up specific rewards and such. And I mean, that's not a new concept, but the fine print for this Path of the Ronin challenge set was stating X days until current event challenges expire all new event camo challenges available on refresh. Now, that was something that was new because we either usually saw the complete removal of seasonal events after one half of the season at most, and when that was completed, or a replacement with another seasonal event in rarer instances, but never really something that allowed for the refresh that kept players and the event going through that same themed event the entire duration of a season, and also keeping it fresh and new, rewarding players along the way. We either had one challenge dump and done, or two challenge dumps independent of each other and done. And at that refresh with Season 2 Reloaded, that's we see what we have now. Challenges across the board for various different categories of weaponry, mostly headshot challenges, but others including standard kills with launchers and kills from behind with melee weapons. And that's a change that honestly, I'm seriously all for. And the thing is, it's such a small, yet to me, important addition. It's genuinely not a lot. Like truly, I'll be the first to tell you that this is not a lot in terms of content. It's two, three rewards tops if you count the charm. Grand scheme of things, that's probably like 5% of the dev time max, I would imagine, over like a map or something. But here's the thing. That kind of stuff keeps me coming back organically 10 times to one over a new map being introduced or something like that. I said it in a video the other day, but this is a way that you bring me back and I'm sure plenty of others back every single time. I fully recognize that quantity-wise, Season 2 Reloaded did not offer a lot in terms of an update. We got a map, we got a raid, we got minimal updates to the Warzone, and we got a weapon, but the introduction of new rewards in raids like a camo, a new mastery level grind for the Path of the Ronin challenges, and still that Season 2 overarching 100 wins ranked camo, I said it before, that stuff has me in a chokehold because I have definitely a fear of missing out on limited time items, especially stuff that will be able to be used the entire duration of the rest of Modern Warfare Warfare 2, the rest of Warzone, for what I have on offer with this content. Maybe it's something that, sure, those camos and such don't carry over to whatever sledgehammer has up on deck for next game. Maybe it sort of does have that window of usability where, come the fall, it's obsolete, but for right now, I've still got six months or so here to work with, and it's something that I can earn by just simply playing, don't have to pay for anything, and it keeps me engaged. So with me having that fear of missing out, and I'm sure that many others are in the same club, we're suckered into grinding it out. Truthfully though, it's kind of changed my perception even because while I say suckered into grinding it out, I actually have a goal in mind to jump on and play, to work towards. It's not just something where I go in and nothing's really worth my time at that point. And to me personally, I think this is kind of a back to the drawing board moment that is necessary with the Activision obsession over player retention and player numbers. I mean, if we look at the last three years and what we had in the Warzone era, maybe I'm in the minority here, or maybe I'm too close to the picture that anecdotally I'm off base and I can't see the big picture. But I'd wager either way, a lot of us feel the same way. The air quote innovations for players retention, I think did more harm in the interest of playing long term than they did to actually help. I mean, if we look at some of them, season Seasonal Prestige resets was a big one here at that. They started this whole seasonal ranking that would hopefully incentivize people to come back season over season and restart that grind. But at the same time, why would I come back when every single season my progress would be reset? Either in Modern Warfare 2019, where it was quite literally reset and reverted back down to a level 56 every time, and then I only had 
100 levels to work with at max to get to 155 or something that's hardly bringing me back even if it's just a slight reset in cold war and vanguard's ranking system where if you didn't hit a certain level and checkpoint of that prestige count it reset you back down to the first level of the last prestige checkpoint you had sure it's additive now but even in modern warfare 2 with a level cap each season what's the point in playing beyond that cap Skill-based matchmaking was another, air quote, innovation that tried to handhold that player retention. And I get you want to have, air quote, even competition, but save that for ranked. As we see, ranked is popping off right now in Modern Warfare 2, despite everything else about Modern Warfare 2 up until Season 2 being a kind of, it's not quite enough for players scenario. Ranked is popping off because there's something to work towards. There's a grind that actually is worth that matchmaking and time put in. And I mentioned skill-based and not even the sense of wanting to slay noobs or bad players 20. 24 7. I like the back and forth, but when there's noticeable strain on connection, prioritizing manipulative matchmaking, again, I'm not really interested in playing long term of that. And I'm sure that you or I can name a half dozen other things where something was added in the last three years in the name of player retention, but that doesn't truly hit the mark. To me, and maybe again, this is just me, this is the first thing that I genuinely want to grind this late into a season because this and the other season two rewards, it's something worth the time put in. You give me something worthwhile and actually worth my time instead of just a level cap that I can't do anything with or something like that, I'll stay there. I'll chase that usable item. If you try to dangle that, oh, your ranks are going to reset and you have to come back and rank up again next season, if you're going to dangle that carrot in front of me, I quite literally don't care at all. But something in limited quantity like this, something that I have to grind out, I'm absolutely going to be jumping on more often than not. So that said, again, maybe this is just me, but I kind of hope we see this more in the future. I would not be opposed if this Season 2 event is the blueprint for future Modern Warfare 2 seasons, offering seasonal content and rewards in the way of themed event items up front, perhaps another organic way to unlock a weapon or a blueprint or something like we saw at the crossbow, or any of the number of blueprints that we saw across all the events. Again, stemming back to the Games of Summer event in Season 4 or 5 of Modern Warfare 2019, you give us that kind of stuff up front, but then have some sort of refresh that allows for another camo and mastery camo set each season, I'm there for it. Like I said, this provides a genuine reward that's organic and brings players back for the simple fear of missing out, and I'm a straight up sucker for that kind of stuff. Things that don't bring me back organically again are like those level refreshes of the past. If anything, I think that hurts the organic interest in coming back because if I work towards something and it just resets the next season, why should I care? Whereas if I have X amount of time to earn a specific item, you know damn well I'm grinding that out and I won't miss it. Then you add all the other seasonal items like weapons, maps, operators, warzone, and DMZ changes. It's such a small yet great addition, I think, to the season offering that we have right now. And not to mention there is plenty that you can do. Call of Duty, even if you don't want to do original stuff, there are so many awesome camos you could pull from way back in the day, even just like from the Infinity Ward catalog alone. You don't have to end up having Dark Matter from like Black Ops 3 and Black Black Ops 4 as reward camos or anything like that. You could bring back other classics and mastery camos, other animated stuff, other things that make this COD 2.0 something that kind of encompasses and celebrates the history of Call of Duty, like add Solar as your challenge set and Black Sky as your seasonal challenge reward for a Season 3 Path of the Ronin type event, Damascus and Obsidian as another one, Ruby and Emerald versions of Polyatomic. There's seriously no shortage of camos that are awesome that you could do that again either are Already exist in the game by slightly tweaking, i.e. like Ruby and Emerald versions of Polyatomic, or things that again already exist in the Infinity Ward engines that would, I would imagine, only have to be slightly tweaked to be brought up to speed from prior games. So to me, I think that it's just a great way that I would love to see this continue, and I would love to grind more stuff out and get those legacy camos or new mastery camo grinds. I actually really like what the Path of Ronin event did, and that's something that, again, got to tip my hat to it. So maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. Let me know your thoughts down below, but that is what we're going to call it. But before we wrap everything up, however, do me a favor, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage. I know that you've heard the pitch before, but truly, now is as best a time to consider it since the holidays. Gamer Advantage, for anyone who may not know, is a blue light glasses company that, to me, makes the best product on the market. Their frames are comfortable, lightweight, and durable, with their lenses being clinically proven and prescription compatible. I've used just about every pair of generic ones you could find on Amazon but truly none of them compare to Gamer Advantage. And while admittedly the price is a bit more an investment, I truly believe that that price jump is reflective of the product, and I feel the quality is justified, especially if you're like me who looks at any sort of screen for prolonged periods of time a day. So if you'd like to even just learn more, head on over to the link in the description below. You can read about their clinical studies, the science behind it all, and all that kind of stuff. But if you guys would like to actually pick something up for yourself, go to Espresso, get you 25% off your entire order, the best deal that we've seen
scene of the new year so far and we might not see it for quite some time again so if you guys are interested check it out link in the description below but for now that's what we're gonna call it so let me know your thoughts down below once again if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to stay today with all things modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and anything cod related but for now thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace